Hi, this video we're going to show you about our new coming 4K60 4x4 HD measure switcher with the video and a simple switching function. So here we have this setup. Basically, right now we have four HDMI input source. We have this one is as the 4K, 4K30, alternate TV, and this one is 4K30, and another one is 4K60. And this is the front panel of the metro switcher. And so basically, we have the four output button, LCD screen for the uh, input information to show up. And we also can adjust the brightness of the LCD and IR sensor power indicator. Then the uh, four HDMI inputs, then the control buttons, including the mode, mode which is for us to record the multi uh, view presets working mode. And menu, and which is once you press menu, then it will show up the OSD button on the uh, TVs, but also the same as the LCD screen. It will be showing up the same information. And here we also have a lock button. We can just press and hold this button for about like three seconds. Then we can see once we press those buttons, it's now working. Okay, so this is about the lock function for the phone button. We can just press and hold to unlock. Now we can just press and then we can have the functions working. Okay, so this one is basically can support the uh, metric switcher as seamless and it can support 4K60 input and output also with scanning. And so we have the independent audio and also multi view and the video. Okay, let's check out on the back side. So on the back side, we have four analog audio input and four HDMI inputs. And then for the outputs, we have four analog audio out and four SPDF audio out and four HDMI outputs. And then here we have the Austro C2 country, DC power supply, and then country we can, can use as the uh, web GUI country or we also can use like the application country. So this is the, uh, my seven inch touchscreen. screen. And so we can just work as our application. We can check it out. The application will call it MCS. So this is the application MCS. And this is the default IP address of the metric switcher. And uh, okay, so now we already have it logged in. We can check it out how it works. Okay, so now we're just going, going to switch to all the inputs to be uh, input one. And this one is actually with the multi-viewer. And we can just change to a different basic setting. Then we have the uh, presets recall here. Okay, this one is working as the metric switcher for inputs showing differently on the 4D space. And we back to the fast setting, and we can just do the switching like the input one, up to three, up to four, same for the other sources. When we do the switching, we can see it's uh, no black or blue screen during the switching. This one, this function we call it as seamless switching. And also on the uh, first page, we can see we have the uh, eight multi view working modes here and also we have the status of the output and input and we can see for the input we have four, input 1 is 4K60, input 2 is 1080p and input 3 is uh, 4K30 and input 4 is 4K60 so we have three different type of resolutions input and mixing input but we still can have the uh, simply switching on the outputs so the outputs will just uh, sync as the uh, display all two or we can just have it set into the uh, fixed resolution by the uh, basically settings so here we can check it out so if like this one we can just choose as any of the uh, fixed resolutions output we can set as 4k 60 or if we choose as the uh, sync one means for the uh, input one uh, for the output one so we can just disconnect the input one and we plug to this uh, HDMI generator receiver and we can read the signal output informations here. Okay, so 
So now we can read information. So the output now is changed to uh, 4K60. Press the OK button, then we can read the information. Okay, 4K60, RGB444, HDMI, no HDCP, the bandwidth is 18 g and Dolby version. Okay, so this is the output one, but when we connect to the, uh, also here we can check out the status on the, uh, so output one, and now it's actually showing as 4K60. But once we have this one plugged out and plug back to the uh, 1080p display, check it out. Okay, so let's show up on this TV and let's check out the sync information is where it automatically changed to 1080p 60 hertz. But the input now is actually using as uh, 4K 60 Hertz. Okay, so input one, and we have input one switch to the output one. Can just check out here. Okay, we just have all the source are showing the same input one, switch to all the outputs. But for the outputs, we have the 4K 60 input, but the output we have it automatically scanning to uh, 1080p 60 Hertz. Okay, so this one is about the. Uh, Switching interface as the matrix switcher, we can just switch to all the outputs. We can just press one of the uh, input and switch as one by one. You can support this in the switching. Oh, okay, so here's the uh, web GUI country which I'm using Google Chrome, and we can see the settings are the same as the application country. Okay, and also we can just do the switching and check it out how it works. Switch to all input 2, input 3, input 4, and this is for the uh, multi view presets. Okay, so when we change to the multi view, you will have a black screen. As you can see, each screen are sharing as uh, four windows. And this one is uh, picture of picture. And this one is with the. Uh, these two screens are sharing as picture in picture. Another mode, and with two windows, another one, four layers, and the screen has a one by two video wall, and second video wall is with the uh, two windows as the picture in picture, and this one is two one by two video wall. Okay, so this is about the uh, windows. Web GUI country, and also we have the base setting. So base setting, basically, we can check it out. We have the uh, output. We can just have the pattern. Uh, we can have this one white or cross, or the uh, any of them. We can just use white on the first display, right? And we choose a different one, right? It's the color bars, and also can just disable. Also, we have a function which is called video off. That means we can just have the all video off on the first display. Video on. Okay. And also we can select the audio to follow on the, uh, the output one. Also resolution setting we, we showed before. And uh, here we have the analog audio out for the out one, which means this one is the analog audio out. So for the audio out, we can just select uh, eight different inputs. We can select either from the HDMI or from the uh, analog audio input. And it's actually kind of like the uh, eight audio input and four audio outputs. Okay. And here we have the input. We also can just uh, rename the input here directly. And here we also have input, we also have test buttons and video on and off, audio on and off, and also the EDID settings. And here you can switch up to uh, 23 presets, including eight multi viewer presets, also including like the video wall. And we can save, recall, or clear it. Okay, so this one is basically for the uh, video settings, the output settings, analog settings, and the input settings. And we have the advanced setting, which is allow us to uh, do the EDID copy or the uh, EDID uh, import. And also can suppose the uh, crop function. 
And here for the uh, system settings, which allows to change the IP address, and also can change the uh, login username and password. And this part is about the uh, Australia country. And as we can see, once we do any settings on the WebGUI, and then we have a, a feedback directly on the Australia two. Just because right now I'm have this Australia two software connect to the Australia two port on my switcher. That's why we can get the information back. But so we can just record the presets just by simply press the uh, codes here. Then we just, we can record the presets and check how it works. Record preset one, which is shown as a, a mattress switcher, and record the presets two, which is shown as a uh, video wall. Once it's changed to the video wall, we also can change to different input source. Ah, sorry, this one is actually for the uh, multi viewer, and let's just record back to the video wall again. Input two, three, four, two. Okay, so this matrix switcher basically can support quite a lot of functions, including like the sim switching and the multi viewer, and also the uh, video sim switching and all the independent breakout audio with eight inputs and four uh, outputs with the SPDF loopout. And also can support the web GUI country, the M app application country, and also the Astros to country. Also, you can support the IR remote country as well. Right now, if you want to switch to the uh, all the outputs, can just have you switch to the uh, input four. Okay, and input input three. Two input one. Okay, so this is the IR remote country for the matrix switcher. Okay, thank you.